Hello, I'm here for my Marvel February 2016 minifigure showcase video, and I know back in, I believe, October, I said I wouldn't, I was going to stop doing these, and well, that was October, or November, or whenever. So I'm starting to do this again because I'm downsizing on DC people, so that means I have more stuff to do, Marvel guys, and other stuff. So. But, no. Uh, Anyways, I'm doing it this now. I don't, I don't know what I just said because I had to pause to go do something. I don't even remember what it was because it was a little while ago, but it wouldn't be for you because I paused it, but whatever. Um, I'm doing this video real quick. So um, and there are a few work in progresses and some other stuff. Three people that won't fit on here, but anyways. We have... Captain America. What is? Here's a look at him. It's just the Avengers one cap with blue hands instead of red. Cause I don't know why. But. And then he has this custom gun from I think Brick Arms. I don't know actually. It could even be Mega Box. I don't know. And then here's the dark blue shields. I mean the dark colored. Well, there's dark blue, but dark colored shields. Instead of, instead of the lighter ones, which they kept after they made Classic Cap. Anyways, um, I have Classic Captain America, who has, like, an older gun. Uh, and then the old shield, and then he's, like, all light blue and stuff, which this one's pretty nice, too. And then, of course, World War II Captain America. Well, here's the one. World War II Captain America, who... It's hard to tell, and my, this might, might just be a misprint, but... It looks like these two shields are in different colors. Slightly. But I think they are. Because this one seems a bit brighter. Maybe it's just me, though. I don't know. But. Um, this one's pretty cool. He has, like, a rifle type gun, that, which is a Mega Block. The, their Mega Block weapons actually work really well with Legos, so. That's the only thing that actually does, even though they say it works with leading brands or whatever. But, um, I don't, I don't actually think they had these kind of type of guns in World War II. They had similar guns, but they didn't have this exact gun. Well, I don't think they actually don't, well, they have similar guns like this in real life, but obviously it's a Halo gun. In case you didn't know, but I think it still works pretty nice for this cap. World War II. Moving on, we have Winter Soldier. Who, like, actually pose him. He's kind of, like, throwing his knife. And then he's kind of, like, just, like, running. Which is pretty cool. And I know in the movies and comics and stuff when he's good, he doesn't have the little bandana balaclava thing. But I kept it on him. Which I prefer good Winter Soldier, but I kept it on him anyway. Because he just looks really cool with it. And I'll probably just have this be Captain America 2. Wonder Soldier, or make it comic book version when I get to Captain Amer Captain America three, one when those when those sets actually come out. Um, I actually have my six Iron Mans, and I'm probably gonna get at least one more. Well, I will Captain America three sets, and then I hope to get like Mark seven somehow. But and then Heartbreaker somehow. But there's some of that I don't have. Here is um, the, well they, they got this as War Machine, but it was War Machine's first suit in the set, so it was Iron Man Mark II, so I'm just going to use this as Iron Man Mark II, and then, um, well, he did have the rotary gun, which I took off, but, um, I'll use this as Iron Man Mark II, and then the Civil War War Machine I'll use as War Machine. Um, then we have Iron Man Mark VI, um, which I think this is just supposed to be, like, the standard movie suit, I don't know, but he doesn't have anything. Um, then we have Iron Man Mark 38, which is Hammerhead. This one is really cool, and I really like it. Oh, yeah, and I need to get, um, Gemini slash Star Boost Mark 39, I believe that's it. Um, then we have Mark 42. Um, the APPS suit. I don't remember what APPS stands for, but... Yeah, um, he doesn't have the actual hip piece that he had. I couldn't find it, so I just gave him a dark red one. Which still works pretty well. 
then we have Iron Man Mark 43, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't think this one has a, a specific name. It's, I guess it's the, guess what, I didn't blow up all my suits, I'm still making them, and I'm still Iron Man suit. And then we have the, since I decided to make more suits, I decided to make this one suit. Or, that's all they're actually called, of course. But these two are just the ones in Age of Ultron. This one looks really cool. All those have this face, or the open smile face, I don't know where that one is. Here's the open smile. And then there's the Silver Centurion I hope to buy from my friend, who's probably going to get a couple more, um, which has a even wider open smile, and then, like, a black eye on the other side. But anyway, um... And then 44, in case you didn't know, that's Hulkbuster. Which a lot of people don't know. But then we have Thor... who I've modified, um, in the set he had sleeves, and then in Age of Ultron, which this is based off, doesn't really have sleeves, he's got cufflings now, which are they're just handcuffs cut in half, and then Man of Steel Superman legs, and I don't know why I'm actually telling you all this stuff, but I just, it's probably because I really like this guy, that's why, I don't know, I will. And then Philly's hair from The Hobbit, and then his cape is different, it's kind of slopes back. If you can't tell, it's got three holes instead of two. Like, let me compare it to, like, a... Uh, um... Okay, so here we have it compared to Gotham by Gaslight, Batman. So there's basically the only difference. And I think it... Works pretty well for Thor, and sorry, I did that kind of because I won't do that for anybody else. But I don't know. We have Hawkeye, which is Age of Ultron. I just gave him a quiver, even though it's on the wrong side since he's left-handed. And then new face. Okay, I'm telling you, everybody, different about him too. I didn't want to do that, but if I do it, sorry, because I didn't want to. But it might be good for you because you might want to know how I made these guys. There's his arrow. And then there's a Scarlet Witch. Uh, I don't have all of her. Like, well, I do, I just can't find all of it. Like, here's her head. And the legs. And I have Hank Pym Ant Man. Which is literally my version because this was more like the Eric O'Grady Ant Man suit, which is the third Ant Man. Or fourth, the third one is like not even in his suit or anything. Anyways, um, yeah. So here's my Hank Pym Ant Man, and he's in a lot of black and red, which Hank Pym wasn't really in that much. But I think this is really cool, and it's my own version for him. And then here he is without the helmet. Um, here we have Scott Lang, Ant-Man, who needs a dark blue hand, and this is based off the comics when he joined the Future Foundation, which is just the Fantastic Four, but with more people back when that was around. Which it still might be, but they just don't have it in the comics, but, um, they don't really do anything with it, and since Fantastic Four is disbanded, I'm, I'm assuming this is two, but... This suit was the easiest to make for for comics because I wanted a comic version. Then we have Spider-Man, and it's like a dark blue variation. We have Spider-Man in light blue, and I can't find his hands, so I gave him skin-colored ones. So I'm kind of skimming through these, but we have Miles Morales, Ultimate Spider-Man, and this guy. That guy, if you haven't read his comic books, you really need to. They're super awesome. Um, we have. Spider-Man in the Iron Spider suit, or if you like Ultimate Spider-Man, then Amadeus Cho. That is really bright suit. Then we have the Spider, um, or his editorial name, Spider 1602, which is just from the 1602 universe. We have Agent Venom, 
with this mega box again. Um, who needs uh, like a thing to cover his mouth? But we tried it, like with the thing of Winter Soldier's got. We tried that, but like he still sees his mouth a little bit. Like Nick Fury Jr. Who has this Brick Warriors custom gun? But he doesn't really have one like that. I don't care though, because it looks awesome. And then we have Phil Coulson. Who has a Mega Box gun and then a Black Hand. Because in season three, he's got that robot hand. Agent Carter, who's retired the version. Agent Williams, who's like the guy, um, Lego Marvel's Avengers. Well, he was the generic Shield agent in Marvel One, but then in Marvel, in this Marvel, in the newest Marvel game, they're like, yeah, let's give him a name to make him more cool. Even though in the last one he already was pretty cool. But yeah, so Agent Williams, aka a generic Shield agent. Then we have the Guardians of the Galaxy, which is Rocket Raccoon, and he's got his orb. I do have the orange suit, I just haven't built it. Well, I do, but I think it's being used by Bit Victor's as, at least the body. And then this gun's from Mega Bloks, um, which I made, I gave him a different gun, because he doesn't have it, like, the gun they gave him was like, this big. I'm like, I am dead serious, if you guys don't know. It was huge. And his gun actually isn't that big. They just do a lot of close-ups on it to make it seem big, and in the comics it's not really that big, it's just really awesome, so. I gave him the smaller gun. And then here's Nova, which I'm going to say is Richard Ryder. I don't care what you guys say, he's better than Sam Alexander. And I gave him these pieces just for some more detail because why not I guess I don't know and then his face isn't the actual Nova face because I cannot find that it's this which actually looks like Sam Alexander but I don't care it's Richard Ryder Star Lord just the actual guy basically Nebula because in the comics she joins the Guardians and it's assumed she will in Guardians 2. Um, Daredevil. Well, but worry, this is the Defenders now, by the way. This is Daredevil, um, and he needs a hand. Literally. We got Iron Fist. Who I've modified from the official one. The official one has most of you know, there's just had regular green legs, but I used these. Because it looks like boots. Which is cool, but on the back it's just that. Because it was before they made dual molded legs, but. Ah, I think this is pretty nice. Then we have Luke Cage. Not Power Man. And, um. His face doesn't have a goatee, but he didn't always. So it's still okay. And then I gave him these brass knuckles to make his hits even harder. Well, they were van. They're supposed to be van braces, but I made them for brass knuckles. Because um, he already has, like, really hard, really super strength and, like, really hard skin. But then I gave him these to make, like, his attacks, like, even harder. Like, sometimes, like, some of his hits without these can, like, knock you down. So with these, they can probably knock you out. I don't, I don't know. I haven't been hit by Luke Cage. Obviously, because he's made up, but whatever. Next, we have the X-Men. And I want to get a lot more of these, but we got Wolverine. And Cyclops, who he has Hawkeye's head because, um, uh, Hawkeye, uh, had no because like my Cyclops head is on Robocop, and then that's why Hawkeye has the other head. So there's that, and then we have reformed villains, which is Deadpool, who also could go with X Men. That's why he's with both, and then he's got this Brick Arms RPG. It looks really awesome. And we have Sandman. Oh, crap. Um, oh, Sandman. Who has these 
things on the bottom of his feet to make him taller. And we have a uh, beetle. Next is the iron skull. This guy is really cool. Um, and then we have red skull. He's just the iron skull is not iron. We got crossbones. He has a thing. It's hard to see, but with bullets on it. He has a rifle and then another pistol and some armor. Baron Zemo. Uh, crap. Uh, Hydra Diver. We got Carnage. Electro. I don't know why he's over there, but. I oh, know, Amazing Spider Man 2 Electro. With these arms. Doc Ock, and I probably won't build his arms because they broke and I'm too lazy to build them again. The Doc Ock. Magneto. Dr. Doom. And Ultron, who needs a little neck piece thing. That's why his head's like this. Then here's a random cop guy. He looks like Vin Diesel, kind of. And um, everyone's favorite, Stan Lee, who looks like 1966 Alfred. Um, sorry that was so long. Um, with my DC videos, they're about the same length, and they're like a whole... And they're this. And they're about the same Probably because I wanted more detail with these, but... I don't know, um... Yeah, I with those I just kind of tried to skim through them, and these I wanted to skim through them, but I ended up talking about them because oh, I forgot about those guys. Hulk, um, Hulk Buster, who I've modified quite a bit to make him more scaled down to Hulk, and then Groot, who I've scaled down even more. Well, I've I've scaled down also because he was like. The size of a sentinel, which I have, and I don't know where he is. Uh, oops. Uh, I don't see any proof that I have him. Oh, well, I do have this wolverine head and, uh, this cowl for wolverine, which came in the same set as him, but I don't actually know where anything is. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. But thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and share for more. That's all, and, uh, thanks for watching, and, uh, yeah, bye.